Hi friends, thanks for joining us at Little Book a Day for Little Learners. Today we're going to read First Hundred Animals Board Book. Let's see what our animals are. These are all pets. Goldfish, puppy, puppy is a type, is a young dog, rabbit, kitten, a kitten is a young cat, cat, mouse, dog, guinea pig. Do you have any of those pets at your house? I have a dog. I've had guinea pig and mice and goldfish. And when I was young, we had a rabbit. I can't have cats or kittens because they make me sneeze. Wild animals. Chimpanzee, camel. Now in yesterday's book, we saw a camel that had one hump. This camel has two humps. They're two different kinds of camels. A tiger, the tiger is the one that has stripes. Penguins, we have a whole series of books just on penguins if you wanna look that up on my playlist. Elephant, an elephant has a very long trunk and is the heaviest mammal, land mammal. There's an owl, owls can turn their heads all the way around. We can't do that, friends. We can only turn it from side to side. The zebra and lion. This is a male lion. He has a mane, and so that means he's the, he's the male. He's the dad. On the farm, we have ducklings and sheep and pony, a rooster, a goat, piglets, pig, foal, cow. Let's go through them again, and this time we can make the sound they make. Are you ready? Ducklings. Quack, quack. Sheep. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Pony. Me, me. Rooster. cock a doo doo Goat. A goat makes... I think a goat is like... Mm, like a... Mm, a sheep says ba. I'm not sure what sound a goat makes. You might, you might know it, even though I don't. A piglet says oink, oink. And a big pig usually says, <laughs> they make like more of a snort sound. And a foal says, nay. And what does a cow say? A cow says, mmm. Rivers and lakes. Do you live near a river or lake? I live near both rivers and lakes. Here's a pelican. The pelican has a beak that has this, I think it's skin. And when it opens its beak, it dives into the water and it scoops up water and hopefully something to eat. And that's why that's so big. It functions almost like a net. And a frog and a swan, flamingos, hippopotamus, look at all of his inside his mouth, and an alligator and an otter and a terrapin. Do you have a favorite river and, and or lake animal? Which one is your favorite? Would you like to know my favorite? My favorite is the otter. I think the otters are so cute how they slip and slide around. Otters are very playful when you see them in, zoo, in or at zoos. I don't think I've ever seen one out in the wild, but I've seen them at zoos and aquariums, and I really enjoy watching them. Forests and woods. We have a porcupine. If you ever see a porcupine, you won't want to touch him. He has very, very sharp needles that he uses to protect himself. A moth, a raccoon. We used to have raccoons in our yard and they like to eat. They like to dig up your grass to eat at the things underneath your grass. They also like to eat your garbage. Eagle, deer. I've always lived places with lots and lots of deer. So you have to be careful when they're, you're driving early in the morning or at night because they tend to run across the road. Bear, squirrel. In North America, we have lots and lots of squirrels. They live in the trees and they scurry down to the ground and they get food, some nuts, acorns, that kind of thing, and they scurry back up. And we've always had dogs and the dogs like to bark at the squirrel. And a panda and an owl. Owls look very serious, don't they? The way they're looking at you with their eyes. 
There's a water dragon that lives in the jungle, a beautiful blue butterfly, an orangutan, a tree frog. The tree frog is also green like the water dragon. A snake. Remember, what does the snake say? A monkey, a chameleon. Chameleons change color depending on what they are on or near. And a gorilla. Let's look at birds. Macaw, cockatoo, ostrich, toucan, peacock, vultures, kingfisher, and parrot. Some of those birds, like a parrot, can actually repeat words that humans say. Do you have a favorite bird that you see on this page? Do you like one of the ones that has a lot of color? I think the ostrich and vultures are a little bit silly looking. Is one of them your favorite? My favorite is the peacock. Now this is a boy. The boy is very colorful. The girl is called a peahen, and she doesn't have pretty feathers like the peacock. Let's look at African animals. We have a giraffe, elephants, zebra, meerkats, lion. Now this is a lion. She's a lioness. She's a female lion because she doesn't have the big mane of hair. A gazelle. Gazelles are very graceful and run very beautifully. They run fast. Rhinoceros and buffalo. This buffalo is quite different from the American buffalo, which is also called a bison. Those are animals that you would find in Africa. Polar animals. These are animals that live in very, very cold places. The polar bear reindeer, penguins. Not all penguins live in cold places. Some live in warm climates as well. Walrus. See all his fat, his blubber? He has that to help keep him warm. A seal. This is a seal pup. That's a young seal. A snowy owl and an arctic fox. There's something that most of these animals have in common they live in very cold places where there is snow and ice on the ground most of the year, if not all of the year. So most of the animals are white so that they're harder for other animals to see. So they are white so that they are not easy for another animal to easily see and attack and eat them. The walrus you can see is not white, but he's not on ice usually. He's usually on rocks and you can see here that he's very similar to the color of rock he's on. Seas and oceans. Here's a crab, a sea turtle, fish. This is a, these are clownfish. Sea lion, porcupine fish. Look at how he blows up. He's like the porcupine. You wouldn't want to touch those spiky things. A jellyfish, a dolphin, a starfish, and a whale. There are many different types of whales. These are animals that live on the continent of Australia. A kangaroo, wombats, kookaburra. I love how you say that name, friends, kookaburra. A wallaby, which is similar, but not the same as a kangaroo. A platypus. The platypus is one of a few animals that is a mammal. It lays eggs, but most people do not think it's, it's a mammal that lays eggs, and most mammals do not lay eggs. Mammals give birth to a live animal. So humans are mammals, and we give birth to a baby. We don't give birth to an egg. An emu, that's a type of bird, I believe, and a koala. So those are animals that you might see if you go to Australia or if you visit a zoo in Australia that has animals from that area. And our last page, friends, is bugs and insects. Wasp, bee, ladybug, worm. Now remember, when you see an earthworm, just let it be. Sometimes you see them come up to the surface after it rains, but just let them be. Try not to step on them. Beetle, moth, ant, this is a red ant. You want to stay away from red ants. The little black ants won't bother you as much as a red ant. Sometimes the red ants, see they have those little biters. They can bite you. It doesn't feel good. A grasshopper, 
a snail, a dragonfly, spider, and caterpillar. Friends, I hope you enjoyed our first 100 animals board book. I hope you learned a lot of vocabulary words. You are welcome to watch it again, and I will see you tomorrow for another animal story.